Hi, I'm Amanda Perna from the House of Perna, and today I'm going to show you how to tie dye a shirt using spray dye. So I know a lot of you know how to use dye, like regular bottle liquid dye. This is a different technique you can do that's also a lot of fun and a little bit different. So what your end result, it will look somewhat like this. You have to keep in mind every time you dye something, it'll be slightly different, which is kind of beautiful, I think. So I'm going to use a crinkle method today instead of your traditional rubber band. But if you were to rubber want to rubber band dye it, you just simply tie it around like normal. But for this one, we're going to crinkle dye, which means you're going to lay out your shirt and you're literally just going to crinkle it. So you have this really weird little scrunchy looking thing. And you're going to take your spray dye and you're going to start spraying. Keep in mind the closer you go, the more saturated it will be and farther out it'll be lighter. So you're just going to spray all around any spot that you think you may want it. Okay, so now I think I like that orange. So the beauty of this kind too is you can do a lot of different colors all at once. So once again, you're just going to crumple it and you're going to take your dye if it will come out, there we go, and simply just spritz it on. And then, I know in the other one I just used two colors, but I was feeling three this time. So then we'll crinkle it one last time with our pink. And I love pink, so we'll do a lot of pink on this one. And that's all there is to it. Then you'll flip it over, do the back the same way, and then just let it dry. And there you have it, a tie-dyed shirt with very little mess and very little time. And after you have it all dried out, just rinse it in the washer like you would wash any other shirt and ready to go. I'm Amanda Perna from the House of Perna. Thanks for watching.